Hello and welcome. We are back the top players of 2023. We started the list yesterday at 11 because I already cheated on my top 10 list. That's how it rolls around here. Once again, here are the rules that I go by for my top players. You can disagree. That's perfectly fine, but, but it's not your list. So sit down, shut up, and watch my top 11 players of 2023. The rules are one player per team, barring one exception, and you can probably guess what player that is because they were on multiple rosters. And then it's mostly focused on RLCS. It's all focused on 3v3. I do not care about 2v2 or 1v1 in this. I do not care about Gamers 8 whatsoever in this. Uh, so that is how I rank them. But on that, let's get to it. I gave you guys a clue in the last video on who would be the next two players. You already know who they are because the YouTube thumbnail is going to tell you. Because honestly, more people click it probably if the player names are in there. So it is what it is. I am just a slave to the YouTube algorithm. But let's get into it. Number eight, first killer. We got a talk about first killer. It was a weird year. Not going to lie. Very, very strange. Winter. They finally get over that top four hump. And everyone's like, all right, maybe it's time. Maybe they win their first one. He obviously had one big mistake to cost him game six. Well, possibly cost him because, you know, it could have went that way anyway. But when you think about, like, a team and a player carrying a team, there is no bigger player than first killer, I think, on most of these squads. The only other one I could think of that you could come close to Outside of maybe Zen, because Zen's in like his own category almost, is Vatira to a certain extent. But I don't even think Zen or Vatira are still on that same page. It's not to discredit his teammates, but obviously there was a lot of issues with team play and all this stuff. We all saw the Roldis video. I know he took it down immediately because honestly, Roldis, not a good idea. But <laughs> um, First Killer is the guy. He was FaZe. And while FaZe... Faltered at the end, his numbers are hard to argue against because his numbers were insane. Even in spring, when they failed to qualify, he still put up insane numbers. Obviously, the North American MVP, that includes fall as well, but his winter and spring numbers were insane. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, but it was just weird because the World Championship also felt like they just like the team was already done and it was hard to get them to place well because like they just like it felt like it was over at that point right so obviously 13th place of worlds terrible finish for them basically just went 0-2 and bounced out the spring split didn't make the major C could i have ranked first killer or lower at first when i was thinking about this list i had him at 10 i had him as my first guy to go off on the list but it's hard because when you look at his numbers regionally, he's massive. He is the best player in NA regionally. We look at, for the last two splits, number five and number three in assists per game. Number one and number three in goals per game between winter and then spring. Number one and number two in shooting percentage. He's always a top five stat category and saves and everything, whatever. He finds ways to get it done. The best plus minus team out of all like all the teams was FaZe Clan in terms of goals for versus goals against. The main question is when it matters most, will he win something, right? Didn't happen this year. We saw when it mattered most, he did make a big mistake, but still they made it to that finals. He still performed amazingly. Number one in saves per game at the winter major led team in goal participation. As always number 10 in goal participation across all players uh, at that winter major. Um, but you could just tell like I test wise it, it like it's first killers team. Now is that a con could be, I think it's more of a pro. We all know that we've talked about this a lot. I'm on the first killer bandwagon for sure. Next year is going to be insane. Going to Gen G. So we got apparently Jack Chronic and First Killer. I expect them to be the number one seed in NA with the bullet. It just comes down to can they take down European teams? And you expect First Killer to go way, way up on this uh, list. Obviously, when they when he has to share a list with maybe an apparently Jack or even a Chronic, he might not make the list, but still. The team success is obviously going to be better than last year. You don't expect Gen G to get a 13th at the World Championship. You expect them to make probably at least one grand final. 
of a winter major or of a major i should say um uh but it depends on format and all that so first killer number eight when i first started this list i put him at number 10 but it's hard to mistake what he's done regionally or it's hard to like not see that he's just so goddamn good he's just so good anyway moving on you all know i love him we're going to CRR. Now, this one may be a little controversial. I think a lot of people put Raisable here instead. I think CRR is the better player than Raisable. Not to take away from Raisable. They're both fantastic. That's why uh, complexity is so good. The one thing with CRR, defense was the name of the game for complexity. They are always amazing at defense. Um, so it's uh, like hard to rate them sometimes because you can't put them on the offensive numbers normally. Um, but even then, you go to the world's wild card, CRR, he was definitely a wild card MVP candidate, probably number two, right behind Atomic. Uh, number two in goals and assists per game at the world's wild card. Um, he was also goals and assists per game number eight, uh, at the winter major, and then number two regionally. Uh, in winter for goals per game. So he was getting the offense done on a team that really just tries to play defense mostly. And you want to talk about a team defense with complexity. There's no better in North America for sure. You could argue Europe, probably vitality, uh, but number two defense at the spring major number 10 defense at wildcard, but that was when they actually performed really well on the offensive side um, where they were the number two offense only behind G2 then you go number three defense at the main event of the world championship, number three defense at the winter major. So basically top three when it matters most, like at the uh, end of a major or at the end of the world championship, like in that main event, they were always the top three defense. CRR had a lot to do with that, but he also had a lot to do with it on the offensive side, a very fast player, a player with a lot of flashy mechs that would make goals happen that you wouldn't expect to actually work, right? And I think complexity needed that at times when it's like, all right, we're going to play a lot of defense, but we still got to put up, you know, two goals per game to make sure we're getting these wins. And like in most games, it was like, that probably shouldn't have went in, but CRR was the man on the ball and he got it done. So I put CRR here at number seven, mostly because like a complexity was better than their results, which seems completely unfair because you have to go by results, right? But complexity was so close to being a European or a world beater team, basically. They were so incredibly close. There were so many times when they would get within an inch of seeing this amazing win happen, and then they would falter. Um, they weren't the best team in NA because of that, but the potential was there. And I see that potential with CRR. He showed it on the field. He showed his results were uh, fantastic even when they did falter he was a great member of that team could he have been rated lower sure because again of that like they didn't necessarily get the results to back up what they could have done but i still think he played amazing throughout the year and again this list was very hard for this bottom five it was in, like i could move any of these five pretty much anywhere my top six they can all move within one another, like in a few spots, I would say, probably four or five and six. Um, but there is a gap now. There is a gap moving on to number six and onwards. But number seven through 11, we talked about all these players. There was CRR, First Killer, then we had Killers, we had Atomic, and we had LJ. Based on whatever uh, criteria you want to talk about, uh, this could have went anyway like any of these five players could have moved around you could have even subbed out some of these players crr for raise bull killers for roas first killer all right he's staying on the list uh <laughs> but you get my point so that'll do it for today number seven and number eight we had crr and first killer let me know why i'm wrong in the comments below i'll love you anyway thank you have a good night we'll see you tomorrow Bye-bye.